Hi guys, you're back for another episode of Spider Monkey Eats. Today we're gonna make a chicken soup. This is not your typical chicken soup. It's a chicken, sweet potato, kale, and barley based soup. We are gonna add some onion and garlic and then some other typical chicken soup seasonings. It is gonna be made with a base of chicken thighs, so it's gonna be very juicy, very fresh. Um, it is gonna take some time to come together. But I'm gonna show you guys how we're gonna do this. So first off, a nice uh, pot right here just heating up. We're gonna add our olive oil, we're gonna soften our onions. So we're gonna start off with two tablespoons of olive oil right in here. Soften those onions and then slowly start act adding everything else. So our pan is nice and hot. You guys can come over, check it out. Got that in there. We'll add our onions. This is one large onion, chopped. soften up. We're going to then add our garlic and bay leaf. So not the typical starting with celery and onion, but we are going to add in, I have um, some dried thyme, dried rosemary, um, onion powder, garlic powder, and some salt. So we will add that in. And let these just soften, get all those flavors. We'll add some fresh ground black pepper as well. We don't want anything to get too golden, so once it does start softening, we are going to add in the garlic and bay leaves. Just to let those soften a little bit as well. Alright, so onions have been softening in here. We're just going to add our garlic. That's four cloves of garlic. Two bay leaves. Just gonna let this cook for about a minute. Then we're gonna add eight cups of water. Okay, our chicken, eight cups of water. I will show you guys. I have four chicken thighs. I just lightly seasoned with some salt and pepper. Okay, we're gonna throw these in there and then cover with water and slowly let everything come to a low simmer and we'll cover it. Chicken's gonna go in. We're gonna cover everything with water. Sweet potatoes we're gonna add more towards the end. I want all of the meat to cook and all the flavors from the bones are what's gonna make this a really rich broth. Um, a lot of people will add chicken stock to it. We are pretty much making it at the same time, so it's gonna cook for a while. So this is eight cups of water. If we end up needing more, that is fine, but we just want the chicken to be submerged. We're gonna bring this to like a low simmer. Keep an eye on it, because then we're gonna turn it down. So we'll let this kind of come up a little bit more. We do have to pull out the chicken afterward to take it off the bone. So for now, we're focusing on cooking this. We'll throw in the potatoes and then the kale will be the last thing. The barley we're gonna cook separately and then we can either totally add that at the end um, or let it cook a little bit to get some of the flavors as well. So we see a slow boil, so I turn the heat down. We're gonna cover this, slightly, mainly covered, but a little crack, okay? And I'm also gonna get barley going over here, so I have water. Um, the reason why I cook the barley separate is because it soaks up a lot of water. So for one cup, um, normally for rice would be two cups of water, but for this barley, it's actually three and a half cups. So I flavored my water um, with some salt, ground pepper, um, onion and garlic powder. I'm gonna turn it on high so it comes to a boil, and then I'm gonna turn it down and it has to cook for 40 minutes. Um, so we'll let that cook separately and then we can always add it in later um, or at the very end. So you'll see that. Alright, so just pulled the chicken out. Was in the water because we want to get all those flavors for an hour and a half. I'm going to let that cool for five to ten minutes and then 
pull everything off the bone and shred up the meat. We're going to add in our sweet potato. Our kale is going to be the last thing, but I just want to catch you guys up first. Um, so I did end up adding two more cups of water just to cover the chicken a little bit more. And then our barley, I had, whoop, we're getting a little steamy in here. Our barley I had cooking for 40 minutes and there's still water, so did another 20. And it just says, you know, if you want it a little bit more soft, you can continue cooking it. So I had put the remaining water and barley in here. Okay, so it's gonna start soaking up those flavors as well as give it a little bit more liquid because when we cook the sweet potatoes, that as well is gonna soak up a little bit. So we'll add our sweet potatoes. I had a little bit of one carrot just to use in there. Really small baby carrot, and that's what you see the yellow. But this is gonna cook in. Again, we'll add our shredded chicken, pulled apart chicken, meat, and our kale will be last to add in. All right, so let the chicken cool. Again, no rush, so about 10, 15 minutes, and then just pulled it apart with my hands. We're gonna add it into our soup with everything else. And we're gonna let this cook nice and slow. It's on low, partially covered for about 45 more minutes. So everything's been coming together chicken's been cooking in there. I took out the two bay leaves because now that we're going to add our kale, you want to definitely take those out because they're obviously both green. So we're going to add our kale right in. You will stir everything up and then cover it. Another 15 minutes. We can turn off the heat, let it sit a moment or two and then we will enjoy some of our chicken, kale, and sweet potato with barley soup. Final product. Chicken, kale, sweet potato, barley, all fresh, all from scratch. You guys saw it, the broth was made just from the chicken thighs. This looks delicious. Um, total of two and a half hours cooking time. So obviously you're gonna make soup a time that you are not in a rush and you can kind of just let everything cook together. So you see the kale wilted down. Okay, you can cook that longer if you'd like to, but it'll give it a little bit of body still to it. Little barley chunks. We'll get some of that extra broth. Look how rich this broth looks. That looks delicious, okay? And there was no chicken stock extra added. Really fresh, really simple. You guys can season to taste. I did add a little bit more black pepper and salt towards the end. Okay, let it sit for five minutes covered. You can finish with a little bit more black pepper. And let's... Give it a try. So sweet potato, kale, chicken, a little bit of barley. Mm. Everything in there. Definitely gonna be hot, so <laughs> take it easy. <laughs> mm. Wow. Really good. Really fresh. Like I said, completely you saw it from scratch. Nothing processed was added added in here at all. Okay, the chicken was bone in thighs. I took the skin off um, beforehand because I don't want extra fat in here. Sometimes when people are cooking chicken soup, uh, before you add in all the other ingredients, just making your own broth or stock, they'll either, if it's cold outside, put it outside so the fat solidifies on top or you put it in, in the fridge. 
So you have that option, but if you're gonna eat it fresh, you can throw everything just like I did. Um, comes out really good, really clean. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. This is a really good uh, just recipe that I threw together, stumbled upon, kind of just whatever I have in the fridge I like to use. But sweet potato kale goes together really well. Um, fresh chicken thighs and then the barley to give it a little bit of body. If you guys have any questions, leave me a comment. You'll see below the full recipe and instructions. But if I can help you out with anything, let me know. If you never want to miss an episode of Spider Monkey Eats, definitely subscribe to our channel, Ultimate MMA Plus. Hopefully you guys like this one. It's definitely a must try. Party dinner, really fresh and simple.